welcome to another video. Uh, why I think Braille is a very important skill to learn, especially for a blind or visually impaired person. I want to talk about my experience with Braille and uh, what my opinions are on it and what I think you as a blind or visually impaired person, if you're starting to learn Braille or if you're a parent that has a blind visually impaired child and they want you want them to learn Braille, here's some advice just so you're educated and also just, just important stuff to know. I started Braille back when I was, I'm going to say in sixth grade, it was 2013. I was 12 years old. So I didn't start learning Braille until that time because I've always had quite a bit of vision or enough vision in my left eye here. So at least like I can read large print, but as the time went on, since I've had all those medical problems with my vision almost going blind and like, you know, the glaucoma, on my, my, one of my eye diseases progressing and yeah, surgeries and stuff like that. Like my eye doctor was like, hey, why don't, oh, how, how about you start having your kid, or how about you start having Christian learn Braille in school? So um, we started putting that part of my IEP, like I should learn Braille. And uh, that, that was one of my classes I should take, like in a specialized, I was in a specialized classroom for blind students. My twin brother is also visually impaired too. You guys seen him on my channel here before. He's all, um, he also learned Braille too. Same with our friend Brooke, who also is, um, is the same thing, obviously, and learn Braille. I wanted to learn Braille. I was really happy to use it because I was so curious on like how it all worked. And I saw my other blind friends at a really young age, actually, since like kindergarten or first grade, um, like, like read with their fingers. And I thought it was really cool because guess what? It really is like, no one sees that, you know, like a lot of us, a lot of you as sighted people read with your eyes. Well, I do read, I read with my one eye, but I need to be, I need stuff a little bit bigger for me to see. And I used to copy uh, uh, like people like even though I could read the uh, the print, large print on my like English uh, homework and uh, schoolwork and stuff, basically like trace along the line with like how they were reading it. And other blind people do like with their fingers, like do this or like go all the way back the line and then down, then do it all over again. I do it like this. I don't do this because then I lose my place easily. Because with Braille, you're it's a decoding language. You're decoding it as you go, like letter by letter, word by word, sentence by sentence, etc. You're trying to process it all in your mind, and you're trying to like uh, try to like put a word together and like feel each individual dots when as you're reading. It's not like printer where you can like read ahead and. Um, and like just like then go to the next line but just by looking at it like you have to like process it and i think that's part of the reason where um education comes in like for, where that this part of thing comes in so for you as a parent or maybe even a teacher who has a blind visually impaired student or child in your class or as a your own child um please make sure to like uh be kind and like be uh, um give them a little more time because with braille it's a very, very delicate language. It's used by the blind community worldwide. Um, it takes us a little bit more time to read it because with Braille, like you're, we're focused so much more on feeling than we're, we're looking at stuff because of our blindness. It's a, like I said, it's a decoding language. You're, you're like focusing on each individual dot to try to figure out, like process it and what it is. I can't stress this enough. It's really, really important for blind visually impaired students nowadays um, it's important for you have them learn Braille. It is your, it's proper access to just your proper education. Yes, technology is very advanced and what it could do for blind visually impaired people, but like, that's not realistic all the time because like, Braille, the English language is not, what's the word? Phonetic. Yes, that's the word. Like, if you don't learn Braille and if you're not, if you're not seeing or feeling what's down by you and, and just listening, you're never going to learn proper English, proper spelling, proper grammar. I think it's very, very important for all blind, blind children nowadays in the 21st century. I, I can teach you Braille if you would like to. Like, um, there's a whole video on my channel where I talk about like what my experience was with learning Braille and like what I know and like me reading 
and writing the braille all in one video. I think it's also important, like if, if you're a parent that uh, wants to learn braille, there's go on Google and uh, you can look at like a ton of images of braille dots and like how they're put together. All the letters, numbers, like how they're all formed. Like um, it'll if you ask like, what's, what is this contraction, number si sign or contraction, whatever it is, like it'll tell you and it'll show you how it's placed. And there's a ton of videos on YouTube of other blind visually impaired showing you like, a, like how, to, how to learn braille and stuff. And I'm one of them. So yeah, like I highly encourage you to, um, if you want to learn, like you can watch more of my videos or you can also uh, on braille or you can also Google it yourself if you want to like educate your own self too after hearing my experience and maybe other blind people's experience on the, on the internet. Like when I was young, like there's been times where like my teacher has had to blindfold me because I used to constantly cheat and look at the dots and I know some teach blind other teachers that are probably watching this that are specialized in teaching braille they're probably like Christian why are you doing that <laughs> but this is in the past though I this is back when I started learning braille sixth seventh grade well sixth grade was my that was when I did it a lot and I also like was positioning my fingers in the keys the wrong way don't worry I don't look at the braille anymore I now um feel with my fingers and I place my fingers in the right keys and everything. But back then I used to, uh, what they did was they blindfolded me, but also um, to get my fingers sensitive and strength into them with feeling it. Um, and also, um, and I will say it's definitely worked out because the times that I've almost lost my vision, I only had to rely on braille and I don't know what I would have done it out without them out it honestly like it was just uh it was a great time that they did it i'm glad my doctor recommended it and i'm glad my my parents also really pushed it even when i liked it like they wanted me to learn as much as braille much braille as possible i used to get a ton of like braille worksheets to take home for homework to teach myself and also like to read different stories books in braille and cover to cover um those are fun um, <laughs> I do like to read braille in a book, but in my, my, for my opinion, for my enjoyment reading, I like to listen to an audio book. I used to read books like, uh, like any other typical sighted person well, that were large print, but like, I don't like looking down and plus like with my nystagmus, you can see like my eyes shake a lot. Well, if I'm trying to focus on the, what's there, you can tell if I'm kind of straining my eyes sort of make it out but uh yeah the whole keys concept after the blindfold um i used to put my keys in the wrong uh on the wrong way like to position my fingers on the keys the right way um they would put like these little foam things around the keys for to stick my fingers inside so that way i can keep them stuck in there so i don't move them have you seen me type on a on the braille writer i've seen it goes along like the same line when it comes to learning on a computer and stuff my experience of learning braille and i've i would say like after doing all those braille classes i did it all through middle school and all the way up to high school i have done this some during transition pro, my transition program for people with disabilities as a parent that has a blind visually impaired child or maybe there's a teacher that like think braille will benefit them i really think it's important like that uh, your child learns braille because um is proper edu it'll the chances of um imp reaching employment and stuff as an adult and really just proper education and spelling in general and stuff like it is so much higher compared to listening on technology even though technology is a good thing it's not it's not for everything though you can't expect technology to be perfect because it simply isn't um because like I really think it's just really just a beneficial thing for any anybody really like to like actually so that way they can understand what's like actually going on. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Hope you found this maybe helpful in some ways. Hope you enjoyed hearing about my life experience with Braille. I still use it nowadays, by the way. Comment, like, and subscribe, and that'll be it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.